guys, this is Mike from Man's Gear here. Um, this is the operation one of my recoil lugs. I bore out the holes on the stock to one inch and 66 thousandths. And when this operation is done, then the stock fits on top of a fixture, is bolted down, and the contours of the recoil lugs are cut out. This is the fixture in which I bolt the stock down to, and there is a, I don't know, we'll call it a plug, and it fits in the ID of the recoil lug. Here. And that alone, I thought I needed screws to hold the plate down on the side, but I don't. So that plug alone will hold the stock while the lug is cut out. You can see the marks there for the machining. And here are a couple of lugs that are done and need to be surface ground to 250 thousandths. And then you need to buy one and put it on your custom rifle belt. This is the uh, second op of the recoil lug. The first op uh, basically turns all the extra stock outside of what gets contoured into chips so that it doesn't run into the final product put denser things in the outside of a recoil lug. That's the little radius contour as you see. So Here's a look at the final, almost final product. Now they just need to come out, be deburred, and surface ground. Here is the final finished product, or at least one of them, that came out of the fixture. Pretty nice finish. Dimensions all check out, but the inside that finish is perfect. The only problem with them, and it's not really a problem because the size is the size when you figure out the barrel tenon length and headspace for a rifle. It's just based on the size of the recoil lug and and the other dimensions that you have to measure. But I wanted these to finish out at, at uh, 250 thousandths, but the stock that I bought was quarter inch hot rolled, so it, it comes in at like 270 thousandths and 10 thousandths of either side of it is hot rolled scale which has to be removed and then um, in order to make them flat sometimes you have to go um, a little deeper in your surface grinding and then you wind up at well under 250 so um, but either way they are surface ground completely flat and um, they're finished um, at whatever number it is, they're not like this one's 246 thousandths, but it's right at 246. It's not 246 and three tenths or five tenths. So 
it doesn't uh, put you in a uh, you know a roundup situation when you're calculating headspace so if you're interested in buying any um, send me an email through my YouTube page or you can contact me at mansgear at gmail.com and I'll be happy to sell you one or ten or however many you want um, the introductory price is thirty dollars with two dollars shipping so you can send me thirty two dollars via PayPal or you can send me a money order thanks